Welcome to this video on handling late and ECF submissions within Moodle using the Turnitin assessment box. However, it can be applied in exactly the same way within the Moodle assignment tool. So once I'm in my unit, I'll turn editing on and then I'm going to select in this instance the Turnitin assignment drop box. Once I've selected add, I'm able to fill in all the details I need to create the hand in area. As this is Artifact 1, I'm going to give it the title of Artifact 1 and fill in some of the basic information to the summary box. Once this is done, I'm going to set the submission file type to be file upload only, meaning that the student can't type directly into the web interface. All the other settings are just going to be left as a standard assignment at the moment, but can be adjusted for specific needs or requirements. The next section to look at is the assignment part. This contains the start date, due date and post date of the assignment. The start date is when the box is first available to accept submissions with the due date being when the assessment is due to be completed and handed in for marking. The unit coordinator will then make the feedback available within 20 working days of the submission deadline or the date of the examination except for distance learning where the feedback is made available 25 working days after the deadline. In this instance, I'm going to use my calendar to work out when 20 working days would be and set the appropriate date within the post date field of that particular submission. When you are setting the due date and post date, please remember to check the month and possibly the year is after the start date. Once the assignment part has been set up, I'm going to set a date restriction. I'm going to change the date from to date until. I set the date to match the due date but give it an extra hour so that although the submission is due at, for example, 12pm, the extra hour allows for anyone submitting close to the deadline to make sure the work is properly uploaded. It is not required that the time is set to an hour and could be shorter, but it is just to allow for any technical errors on the part of the student submitting. Once I have set the date, you can see that there is an eye icon to the left of the restriction. What this allows the academic to do is set it so that the student is able to still see the item but it is now unavailable to them. If I click on the eye so that there is a line crossing it out, it will hide the resource from the student, which I do not want to do. In the past, some students have logged back into Moodle to see their submissions only to see the late box and think that their submission has been deleted, which we do not want to happen. Now the initial assessment has been set up, I'm going to mirror the process and create the late submission hand in box that can also be used for ECF or extenuating circumstance forms submissions. I'm going to create the new assignment and call it Artifact 1 Late Submissions. Some people do add the ECF section to that title as should it be required. They can also be split out by creating another separate drop box. As before, I change the submission type to allow only the files to be uploaded. Within the assignment part, I set the start date to be the same as the due date from the previous assignment. This is when the submission would have been late. I make sure I set the time the previous one closed to be exactly the same as the new box will open, ignoring the date restriction that is allowing for smaller technical difficulties. The new opening time will match the due date's exact time, so if it is set to 12pm, the new open time will also be 12pm. Using the calendar to again check the dates as needed and make sure that the allotted working time of 20 or 25 working days is given for both campus and distance learning students. Again remembering to check the correct months or years required to be after the start and due dates. It is possible that an assignment created at the end of one year will then have a new due date or post date in the following January. If you just change the month without the year, Moodle and Turnitin will not be able to create the Dropbox. Once I'm happy with the dates for the part I am creating, I will again set a restriction using the date option and set the date from to match the start date of this, which is also the due date of the previous assignment drop box. This time, however, I'm going to use the eye to hide the box so that students don't see the late box until they are already late for the hand in. Save and return to the course once you're happy with all the settings. You can now see that I have Artifact 1 that is available until the 25th of October and Artifact 1 Late Submissions available from the 25th of October. If I change my role to Student, you will see that the Late box does disappear as the date criteria has not yet been met. Artifact 1 will remain for the students to see, however they will not be able to access it at this time. 
The reason it is a good idea to leave Artifact 1 visible but not accessible is so the students know the work has not been deleted as the submission they have made is not available in the late submission box. They can see that there is a different box and the work has not been lost. Thank you for watching this particular video.